Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomuz Biology. In this video lecture, we are going to talk about Coombs test, which is also known as anti-immunoglobulin test. Anti-immunoglobulin test or Coombs test, as per the name of the researcher who developed this. So Coombs test is uh, to detect the presence of antibody that can go against our red blood cell or our erythrocyte. So there are sometimes antibodies produced in our body that can go and target our own erythrocytes. So in our body when uh, our immune system generates antibodies against our self cell that is RBCs, those antibodies are going to target the RBC and they are going to destroy RBC cause hemolysis. And this hemolysis will lead to anemia obviously depletion of hemoglobin in the body, red blood cells in the body which is known as hemolytic anemia autoimmune because our self immunity is going up against our own body cell like RBCs that is autoimmune hemolytic anemia. Now this autoimmune hemolytic anemia is caused in the body maybe there are multiple reasons for that different reasons for that but what we need to understand what you need to, to, to understand here is basically there should be a test to detect the presence of autoimmune antibodies in the body. We should have a test to detect the presence of those autoimmune antibodies in any patient's body. And second thing is that sometimes what happens when our red blood cells are already coated by those antibodies. When our red blood cells are having antigens in the surface where the antibodies can go and bind and coat the RBCs. In that case also that can prevent or that can cause the further lysis of the RBC. Both of these things can be detected by Coombs test and there are two Coombs tests available, two types of Coombs tests available out there, okay. One is the direct Coombs test, direct antiglobulin test and the another one is indirect antiglobulin test or indirect Coombs test. Direct Coombs test, DAT, indirect Coombs test, IAT, okay. The direct Coombs test detects the antibody coated self or anti self anti antibody coated RBCs in the body and indirect Coombs test detect the presence of antibody that can affect RBC in our body. Both of this can be detected. Now the first case uh, detection of antibody coated RBC detection of antibody coated RBC and in that case what happens when before birth mother may provide this antibody and this antibody will be targeted towards the children's RBC so they can bind to the children's RBC and if the mothers carry any case if the mothers carry their auto immune and like self anti or anti-human antibodies like that. Those anti-human antibodies that they created which is going to be targeting the RBCs and those RBCs are present in the children then the presence of any other antibody that can add this and uh, RBC coated with the antibodies together and cause agglutination. The problem you know what is the problem? The problem is simple. Let me first talk about that. If this is an RBC let's say in the surface it has some antigenic determinants where this antibody is bind right so this is the state that we are detecting with direct Coombs test and in the indirect Coombs test we are only detecting antibodies against RBCs so here if it is detected like this then later on we have multiple let's say we will draw it we have multiple such multiple such RBCs and all of them they have this sort of structures right and then what happen is that if we add another antibody another antibody let us say pentameric antibody IgM or we can add IgG even IgG, Ig, IgM, IgM is even worse situation will be created. So any of these antibodies added they are going to cause the further agglutination agglutination in the test tube 
the test where we are uh, doing this job or doing this experiment there there will be agglutination a visible agglutination or separation of this rbc coated with the antibodies out of the rest of the serum that can be done that is something that is possible the next so to 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 see that what we do is that sometimes in mother's body we have anti uh, body coated rbcs so we can detect that with dat with iat we use iat or indirect coombs test indirect anti globulin test for uh, like before the transfusion before uh, any transplantation so if you are transplanting an organ from x person to the y the y person's body may develop antibody against that x person's component and that can create you know uh, immune mayhem right so things like that happen so that's why we have two separate uh, process erythroblastosis fetalis is a case where happens whenever uh, the mothers develop this antibody that goes up against the rbcs of the children and that can destroy it right so to prevent that we can test it outside beforehand to know what is going to happen if we transfer the blood or uh, yeah before blood transfusion also we will transfer the blood what will happen so for that purpose what we have we use this simple a reagent the reagent is nothing but we have the human uh, anti globulin basically human anti globulin or also known as h a g anti human globulin reagent anti human globulin reagent just we add the anti human globulin reagent okay so we want to check both if so i'll i'll go hit this side and tell you the process so if the blood cells are present like this and already the antibodies are coated already the antibodies are coated here like this in that case if we add the anti human globul globulin here anti human globulin or aag aag reagent then what will happen it will cause agglutination right if your if the blood carries this anti rbc antibodies and if they already have this complex then only the visible agglutination will be shown after adding ag so when we add ag if we see visible agglutination that means we are looking at a condition where the visible agglutination taking place that means the patient carries rbc is coated with the antibodies if the rbcs are coated with the antibody adding ag can cause the agglutination the visible agglutination the next thing that uh, is there is we are detecting the antibody or presence of antibody in that case we need to give rbcs with antigenic determinants in surface so in that case along with ag reagent we also need to add rbcs okay rbcs are also added and if like there are two situation either there is the antibody present in the sample by in the patient sample or there is no antibody in the patient sample right so if there is no antibody in the patient sample after adding ag let's say this is ag ag cannot cause agglutination ag cannot cause agglutination but if this rbc is in the patient serum there is antibody then these antibodies are going to bind to the rbc coat the rbc and then adding the ag will cause what adding the ag afterwards will cause the agglutination visible agglutination that's how easy it is so this will be positive test this will be negative test so in case of coombs test if there is no visible agglutination in direct in direct as well as indirect test if there is agglutination the test result is positive if there is no agglutination the test result is negative i told you why because in direct test if the antibody coated rbcs are found even if we after that we add ag it is going to cause a visible agglutination we can find it and in the indirect test we are detecting the presence of antibodies if the antibodies are found in the serum that can bind to the rbc in that case rbc is a part of the reagent where in case of indirect test rbc is also part of the reagent while in direct test there is only ag as a reagent no rbc is required as a reagent so when we add 
RBC is as a reagent, then the antibody that is present in the serum is going to bind to the RBC, coat the RBC and then again what happens? AG is going to do the job of agglutination. AG is, is created generally artificial or bead structures are there and multiple antibodies are coated that bead so that it can cause a visible agglutination. That's how the AG reagent is designed. Alright, so as I mentioned earlier, we can give multimeric antibodies like IgM but we don't do that because for visible agglutination we need to make sure that the agglutination is spot on and to make that sure what we have we have a inert material and multiple multiple antibodies attached to them this kind of structure is present in AHG anti -hemium anti-human globulin anti-human globulin and this is something that we have as anti-human globulin and they are going to interact they are going to cause a visible agglutination whenever there is formation of antibody coated RBC either in case of direct test or in case of indirect test right that is the difference so uh, the, the role of this both techniques the direct techniques is used to find out the presence of the antibody coated RBCs and if the antibody coated RBCs are present we can detect it with direct Coombs test and so in case of uh, childbirth if the mother carries that antibody autoimmune hemolytic antibodies then we can detect it beforehand and second thing for blood transfusion before that or organ transplantation again in that case also we need to detect the presence of the antibody in the patient serum and we can do that. Okay, so both of these informations are shared. I believe you have a clear idea. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.